stuff. <laughs> oh, blood. Yeah, you know, forgive me, I'm wet. Um, that, 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 that was a bit crazy, that was a bit crazy. I thought, I've, I've decided to start going raving more often. The pub, like, you know what I mean? I'm getting a bit of a belly, so I thought I might go and just, you know, linger it off, but... It's not, it's not really going too well, it's not really going too well, because as soon as a white guy walks into a rave, things start playing on his mind, like why the lights are out. <laughs> what the fuck is this about? Did they pay the electric bill? Who said, oi? How much money you got in your meter right now? Let's be real. <laughs> um, and as soon as you walk in, everyone wants to look at you, like, how are you going to dance? You're white. How are you gonna... I've been white for 21 years, I know what you think. It's cool. It's cool, it's cool. It's cool. But the thing is, I was in a rave the other day, and some guy was watching me, watching me, watching me, watching me. And then he came with me, oh, hey, blood, oh, hey, blood, oh, hey, blood. I thought it was a game, like, guess the MC. So I was like, you're bashy, you're bashy. Nah, nah. You're dizzy, you're asking, oh, hey, blood, I'm serious. I said, you're gigs. No, oh, blood, no. True say there's two rooms in here, innit? And man's been watching you dance and you're putting me off. Could you go in the other room, please? I said, this video, I'm dancing to the next song, it just ain't come on yet. <laughs> the trials and tribulations of being white. I, I, I've decided to date outside my race, man, proper. Yeah, man, seriously. Got myself a Nigerian girl. Yeah. Nigerians in the house? No, 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 you're supposed to be more excited than that. You're in London. <laughs> <laughs> we are here! We are ladies! Hey, come on now, we are here! Indigo too! <laughs> you are looking at me like, fucking hell, your African accent is good! <laughs> I know, I know. I, I, I was actually brought up in, um, in Nigeria. Yeah, it's funny. Not the one in Africa, Peckham. But... <laughs> Close. I decided, I decided, I'll get a Nigerian girl, I'll get a Nigerian girl. Everyone says that Nigerian women are very feisty and stuff like that. I need someone to pop me in my place. And, and I think when you get in a relationship with someone outside of your race, it is a beautiful thing and you have to try and merge with their culture. And it is hard to start with, but I'm a laid back guy, so I said, you know what, let's do what you do. So she took me to like a Nigerian wedding. Has anyone been to a Nigerian yes. wedding? Yes, that's money. It's a beautiful thing, loads of food, loads of food. Nice, loads of food. But the thing is that really puzzled me is they put money on the bride. I said, that's generous. She wasn't picking it up, so I did. <laughs> Get me? And um, that was on a Saturday. On a Sunday, she said, do you want to come church? Yoruba church. Yoruba church. Who's been to a Yoruba church? Yeah, yeah. Woo! They go in. The pastor was praying hard, hard. Lord Jesus, I pray that you will calm down and bless everybody in this church today. Today. I was like, well, I hope you will today. I ain't got time to wait until tomorrow. <laughs> And then he said, you know, all right, now I'm going to bring around a tray for offering. I said, cool, cool, cool. I'm generous. I put five pounds on the tray for offering. He said, okay, now I'm going to bring around another tray for contributions. <laughs> yeah. How do you put that in it? Three pounds. Now I'm going to bring around another tray for donations. <laughs> yeah. But the thing I love most about the church, right, is they go hard, hard, hard. It's like praying. He said, I'm going to bless everybody in the church today. I'm going to cover you with the blood of Jesus today. You will feel the spirit of God. Take the prayer in your body and turn it into your own prayer. The whole church, like praying, Lord Jesus, I pray that you will come down on me. I'm going into that shit. I'm like, Lord Jesus, come on. 